and it's happening all over the country. Ian Pryor has been on this for a long time, more than a year. He's executive director of Fight for Our Schools in Virginia, and we're happy to have him join us tonight. Ian, thanks so much for coming on. You wonder if parents in your state are aware of just how, this hasn't gone away, just the opposite. We've seen all these videos of angry parents at school board meetings, but they've gotten even more aggressive in pushing it, or am I imagining that? No, that's absolutely right. And, and this bill that, that is being pushed in Virginia by Elizabeth Guzman, I mean, it's evil, but it's predictable. I mean, this is where it goes. We've been dealing in Virginia, especially Northern Virginia, with schools that say, well, look, if, if Judy comes to the school counselor and says, I want to be John now, we don't have to tell the parent unless the student gives us permission. And the reason why they don't tell the parent is because the parent might not affirm that. And the schools consider that an unsafe environment, abusive. Right? And so that's why the parents don't get to know. This is the natural progression, a law that says, yes, we agree, it's abusive, and since it's abusive, now we're going to send CPS after you, we're going to prosecute you for felonies and misdemeanors, uh, and we're going we're gonna to destroy your lives and destroy your employment, and we're going to take your kids from you. What Elizabeth Guzman did was entirely predictable. And all the Democrats, like Ab Abigail Spanberger and Jennifer Wexton, that's, that they are going to try and distance themselves from this, you can't. You've already gone out there and said, you support schools keeping this information from parents. You are completely okay with this agenda, and you're not going to be able to outrun it. But teachers and school administrators and Elizabeth Guzman from Peru, they're not your kids' parents. You're your kids' parents. Where do they get the right to make these kinds of decisions for your children? Well, they don't have the right. I mean, they do not have the right. The Constitution gives parents the rights to the care, custody, and control of their children. So if they tried this, they would be roundly defeated in court. But look, the fact of the matter is, for people like Elizabeth Guzman and her allies, if, you know, you go and, and you're, you're reading your kids' books about transgenderism at five, you're getting them on puberty blockers, you're then giving them testosterone and getting a double mastectomy, you're a great parent. Otherwise, if you don't believe that, they're going to prosecute you, put you in jail, and you're not going to see your kids because they're going to take them. Yeah, well, live and let live. Yeah, they didn't mean it. In prior, I appreciate you coming on tonight. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. From Tucker Carlson tonight.